Hey everyone! Welcome to our JavaScript tutorial series. In today's video we're diving into the world of JavaScript data types. Specifically, we'll be discussing primitive and non-primitive data types. Understanding these concepts is crucial for writing efficient and effective code. So let's get started. So, what are data types? Before we dive into the specifics, let's first understand what data types are. In programming, data types are an essential concept. They define the kind of data a variable can hold. This helps the programming language manage and allocate memory efficiently. In JavaScript, data types can be broadly categorized into two groups, primitive data types and non-primitive data types. Firstly, let's talk about primitive data types. These are the most basic data types in JavaScript. There are seven primitive data types, number, string, boolean, undefined, null, symbol, and big int. Let's understand all these data types one by one. Number. This data type represents both integer and floating point numbers. For example, let age equals 25. Let price equals $20.99. Console dot log age and display the price variable also. In the console, you can see the values of the variable age and price. If you want to check the variable's data type, you can do using the type of keyword console log type off in the variable name. As you can see in the console, the data type of both the variables are number. Next data type we have, string. Strings are sequences of characters used to represent text. They can be enclosed in single quotes, double quotes, or backdicks. Let name equals inside the single quotes. John, let greeting equals this time I will use double quotes. Good morning. Let's display them. Console log name. And greeting. There's one more quotes you can use, that is backdicks. Let template equals inside the backdicks quotes. This key is usually present in the top left corner of your keyboard. Let's write something. Hi, my name is inside the curly brackets, past the name variable. And you have to write the dollar sign outside of curly brackets. Console log template. As you can see, it simply put the value of name in the template string. Now let's talk about Boolean data type. This data type represents logical entities and can have two values, true or false. Let running equals true. So the running variable have the value true. If we want to change it to false, running equals false. Next, we have undefined. A variable that has been declared but not assigned a value is of type undefined. Let empty. Semicolons are optional. Console.log, empty. As you can see, it displayed undefined. Next, we have null data type. This represents the intentional absence of any object value. It's often used to indicate that a variable should be empty. Let value equals null. So this variable doesn't have any value, but you can assign to it later. Next, we have symbol data type. The symbol data type is a primitive type introduced in ECMA script 6. Symbols are unique and immutable identifiers. Each symbol value is unique, and symbols can be used as identifiers for object properties. Let id equals symbol id. Let's create an object, person, inside the curly brackets. Name, let's say Alex. Age, let's say 23. If I want to add the id also, Inside the square brackets, id, 1, 2, 3, console.log, person. As you can see, it displayed the person's name, age, and id. Next, and the last primitive data type we have is big int. Big int is used for very large integers. It can represent integers with arbitrary precision. Let value equals big int, a very large value. Console.log, value. So it simply displayed this large value with arbitrary precision. Now, let's move on to non-primitive data types. In JavaScript, there's essentially one non-primitive data type, the object. But objects can take various forms, including arrays, functions, and other complex data structures. An object is a collection of key-value pairs. Each key is a string, and each value can be any data type, including other objects. Let person equals Inside the curly brackets. Name, this time let's say Patrick. Age, 24. Is male. True. 
Let's say we want to display the name. Console.log person dot name. As you can see, it displayed Patrick. Let's display the age and gender also. Console.log person.age and console.log person.ismail. Let's suppose we want to change the value of age. Person dot age equals, let's say 30. So it's simply changed the value of age. Let's display the age now. It successfully changed the age to 30. And there you have it. Before we wrap up, let's quickly summarize the key differences between primitive and non-primitive data types. Primitive data types are predefined, meaning they are provided by the programming language. Non-primitive data types are created by the programmer. In primitive data types, size depends on the type of data structure. While in non-primitive, size is not fixed. And that's a wrap on our tutorial on data types. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Leave your questions and thoughts in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.